lunch. This is right. It's time for a bike ride. underscore five mac hey man i just wanted to thank you for inspiring me and motivating me and probably a lot of others to work out and lose weight i've been meal prepping and exercising every day i started at 354 i'm assuming that's pounds and i'm currently down to 340 in just a little over three weeks question what was the biggest challenge you face in the gym when you're working out how long do you usually work out? First, underscore five Mac, thank you for following me on Instagram, on YouTube. I really appreciate the support. Also, congratulations on your weight loss so far. That's great. Yes. Um, to answer your question, the biggest challenge in the gym, to tell you the truth, that's probably my strongest area in weight loss is working out in the gym. Like, I'm, I love going to the gym, okay? Yes, I have days and moments where I don't want to, but everyone does. To me, the hardest part of the journey is more of the food. So the biggest challenge for the gym is just to show up and do the work. I saw this slogan or quote the other day, no matter how slow you go, you're still lapping everyone on the couch. And it's totally true. So it doesn't matter you know, if you have the best workout in the world at the gym, What's important is that you show up and you do a workout. To answer your second question, how long do you usually work out? If I'm lately, I've been doing a lot of strength training and cardio at the end of the strength training. Um, so I've been strength training for probably around 45 minutes to an hour. Then I'm jumping on to um, usually the stairmaster, which I do about 10 to 15 minutes. I say 10. I usually do it for 10 minutes, but then I have to go around, move the cameras around, and just for filming reasons, I'm still on the the uh, stair climber. So it's really like 15 minutes. If I'm doing straight cardio, it's usually around 30 minutes. In my past, I've done an hour. I've done an hour and a half, but you know because of my back issue. Um, since I've been back, I've only done the maximum of 30 minutes on the elliptical. Mandy Lou to you says, do you ever get demotivated and feel like giving up? How do you get yourself back on track? Sure, I, I lose my motivation all the time, um, but I try to refine it. It's going Your motivation is going to be different for everybody. One of my biggest motivations is my family. You guys know that. I show my daughter on, on my channel all the time and my wife. Um, so yes, I feel like giving up all the time, but you know, it is just a phase. It is just in that moment, whatever I'm experiencing right then and there. Next day, you have to um, wipe this, the slate clean and start over. You know, you're going to have bad days and just you got to start over. Um, you know, there's days that you, you know, or weeks that you, you know, you do everything perfectly and you gain weight that week, you know, and it sucks. It's 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 a mental, mental game. It really is. The key is just keep going. You know, if you keep doing it, the right things, um, the next week after and stick to your plan, eventually your, your body is going to lose weight again. How do you get yourself back on track? Just get focused. Stick to the plan. It is so important to have a plan, okay? No matter what it is. If it's Atkins, Weight Watchers, calorie counting, whatever that might be, stick with that plan. There's no one in the world that probably screws up more than I do in this weight loss journey, and it's taking me forever, and that's fine. I don't care how long it takes me, but I'm just going to keep coming back. You know, because I really want it. And if there's something that you really want, there's nothing that's going to stop you. Not the big guy from Australia says, what's your favorite Australian thing, person, food, anything? Top three would be awesome. All right, persons. The only person I know from Australia is you and and my neighbor. He's from Australia. So you guys are awesome. Um, food. I don't know. I know my neighbor, he talks about veg Vegemite. Veggie mite, veggie mite. I don't know what it is. He says it's awesome. I have no clue. 
<laughs> I'm sure he'll bring it home one day and have me try it. Probably my favorite music from Australia is, of course, ACDC. And my favorite animal, of course, the kangaroo. They're so cute. All right, Sandy from Let's Get Fit says, do you listen to a particular kind of music depending on the kind of workout you're doing? Sandy, I actually have the uh, Apple Radio, which it's a monthly service, and I just usually put uh, pop workout music on. Um, I also have a couple playlists of music that I own, just, you know, workout music, and that's what I usually listen to. And, you know, it, it my headphones are pretty cool. If I don't like a song, I just tap it twice and it goes to the next one. So you, I do suggest that you guys find music that you guys like. You really want to get into the gym and just kind of zone out, do your thing, you know, and get the best workout possible. My boy Dave from Dave Does Weight Loss. What are some non-scale goals you have when, when you're at goal? Although we both know this journey is never ending, so that term is redundant. Ha ha ha. Um, non-scale goals. I would love to buy normal clothes in normal stores. I hate going into a store, finding something that I love, and not being able to find a size. So a lot of times, I won't even go into the men's department. In most stores, you know, my wife could be shopping, my kids could be shopping somewhere, and they have a men's department. I won't even go into there, because I know they don't have my size. So why, why tempt myself, or, you know fool myself that you know there's something going to be there for me because there's not 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 yet at least number two do you have a dream physique you wish to achieve no it, it's you know to me i just want to feel healthy and look healthy you know i know when i lose more weight i'm going to have baggy skin loose skin it is part of the process i don't know how i'm going to handle that yet you know but i can tell you I'd rather be a skinny guy or a normal guy with loose skin rather than a fat guy with just being huge. I've been huge for a very long time and I'm sick and tired of it. If so, who is it? Oh, are you, was I supposed to answer as a person? I don't know. Arnold Schwarzenegger? But I, he's too big. I don't want to be big anymore. My girl M from M Wilson Fit Fam, she says, was there an aha moment or specific event that made you decide to start your journey? No, I didn't have a aha moment. Um, I've been on this journey for a very long, long time. I've only been on YouTube for, when did I start this? October 2013, but I lost weight before then. Like, as you guys know this, or as you, as you guys know, my highest was around 440, 450. I didn't start my YouTube journey until I was around the, down to like 385. And um, so I've been doing this for a very long time. I would say my heaviest was around when I got married. Um, but I don't know for sure. Like I've told you guys before. Like after I reached 400, my scale stopped working. And I know for a fact I gained at least 40, 50 pounds after that scale stopped working. Because I kept eating. I kept I mean, I have pictures that show me at 400 and ones at 4, 440, 450, and they look totally different. So I know I gained, I, I gained a lot of weight between 400 and 450. But to be more specific, there, there was no event. Um, it's just, you know, my life was turned around, you know, having a family, having daughter, having a wife. You know, it's just... I'm very blessed, I'm very happy, and, you know, I want to show that on the outside. I feel it on the inside, now I want to show it on the outside, too. Have you tried to lose weight before? Of course. Um, do I remember my first one? Probably, I remember a moment when I was 13, and I, I looked down, and I looked at my body, I was like, holy shit, I'm gaining weight. I, like, I had a belly, and, um... You know, probably ever since that day, I've tried to lose weight. Like, I've tried different things. Um, as far as, like, different programs, I've done Weight Watchers. I've done Atkins. I've done South Beach. Um, I've done pretty much everything in the book. I just don't know the names of them. Um, I've done the pills, the shots, um, the, the you know, those pills that make you shit your pants. I've done those. Uh, and it's... 
nothing's last except for eating right and working out and YouTubing with you guys. Uh, if so, what did you try? I've just talked about that. Any specific diet programs talked about that. Love to hear what you tried and maybe why it didn't or did not work for you. All those programs worked for a while. If I kept with them, they were have worked forever. Um, the probably um, the best one out there is Weight Watchers. Um, I know a lot of people are successful with it. I know you're successful with it. The key to Weight Watchers is that they give you a plan. They give you these points. But the biggest thing of that is the support. And to me, when I went to these meetings, they were all 99% female. And I just couldn't relate. Um, yeah, there was one or two men... They showed up every once in a while and it just they were just not my type of support that I needed. It just it wasn't for me. Yes, I lost weight on it. Eventually I just dropped off. It wasn't worth the money to me. Um you know it, I could have done the exact same thing by using my fitness pal and um you no know, it just didn't work for me. My boy West Virginia running Don um where do you get your music for your videos? I was wondering if you get paid for it or got it for free. Um, most of my music comes from YouTube. Um, if you cr um, click on the creator tools, there's a thousands and thousands of songs in there. But then there's also music that I've bought or have been given um, rights to. Um, you just have to deal with the people directly and get you know a contract and that kind of stuff. Get rights. Chelsea Dotson. How do you like those styles of headphones while working out? I love these headphones. They're the Braggy Dash. Um, I will go into details later on them, either on this channel or on my other channel. Um, I'm still in the trial phase of them. All right, guys. That's all the questions for right now. If you guys sent me a question, sorry I didn't answer. I just it, some, Sometimes it's hard to find them all. Um, definitely resubmit it next week. I will make sure I will get to it. The easiest place is in my Instagram on the photo that says Q&A. Definitely put them there. But it is time to get in here and do a workout. So I will see you guys on the flip side. Workout confession, worked on legs tonight, did some strength training, didn't do any cardio, just wasn't in the mood. And I just like working out every day, you're just not going to be in the mood for everything. So um, decided not to do it. It's okay. I'll get back to it tomorrow. I'll get back in my groove, but just not feeling it today. So at least I went, got my, got my body moving, got my muscles strengthening. And I feel good. So, alright, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight. Make sure you guys share my videos with anyone that you know that needs some motivation and inspiration. And let's help each other, let's motivate each other. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you to everyone that submitted a question. I really appreciate it. If you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, make sure you click on top left video. If you haven't seen my I'm Too Fat Top 10, click on top right. And if you're brand new to my channel, click that red button and subscribe.